Hey. Hey guys. So, I have a hat on. Okay. Got one of those. It's like a red. It's a red hat. More like a maroon, but... Yeah, kind of. So I have a story for you. I do. It's a, a, a good one, And it involves me going on a date. Look at me, huh? Just big man on campus. This was big. This was a big night. This was big. Nothing special, but we had a gift card. In fact, that was the only reason why we were going to this restaurant in the first place. I mean, this was like the most expensive place I've ever been to. It had a valet. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen that. I've never seen one. This was rare. I've never seen a valet. He even had a vest. I've seen him in the movies. I've never seen one for real. Like, it was, it was very surreal. He, he, would try, he was trying to wave me, to wave me into his culture, you know? You come here. You come here. Don't play hard the game. Oh, you come here. I need to park that. Uh -uh. You come here. <laughs> Don't play hard the game. I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna come. I have a vest. It has wheels. Oh, that's, that's new. I didn't know you played hard the game. I just envisioned myself parking this. He wanted me to indulge myself and to use the valet. I couldn't do it. I could not bring myself knowingly to give a strange man, probably named Quincy, my keys. He kept waving me in though. He just kept freaking doing it. I kept, I'm like, no, no, I can park this. And then it just turned into like a silent battle between me and Quincy. I could, I could park it. I could park my car. I can park my car. I park your car. To be honest, I don't even really trust you. I don't. You hurt my feelings. I'm sorry that hurts your feelings. You hurt my feelings. I can't knowingly give you my keys. I don't know you. You don't even look like you have a Facebook. No, I don't have a fa I don't have a Facebook. Who needs a Facebook? I don't even think you have Daily Booth either. Or a Twitter. You know, in fact, you look like a guy that has a MySpace. Yes, I have a MySpace. Not to mention, you're wearing New Balance shoes. 409s. Okay? That is a very untrustworthy shoe. I can't knowingly give my keys over to a guy that wears New Balance 409s. Not to mention a MySpace. Oh, okay, that's a low blow. That's a low blow, guy. I don't want to park your car anymore. Get out of here. Ah! So I ended up parking my own car. Okay, I pull in, park, parked it. Pa! And on my way in, I realized that that we were zebras in a lion cage. We didn't belong in this uh, just arena of gold and silver. I wasn't used to this. Okay, I'm not sure that when they saw me walk in, they were like, "Oh, get it." Look at this dream that walked in. He's, I think he's wearing a Target shirt. <laughs> he comes in expecting treasures. I was under the impression that everybody shopped at James Davis. Pull out your iPhone 5 and take a video, please. I bet it was affordable. I bet he actually saved the money. It's just so freaking funny. I've never been into a place like this. And so the hostess took us to our seats. Okay, we took us to our seats, we sat down. The seats were like something out of a Lexus. Like pure eagle hide. Yeah, it dried eagle hide. It's beautiful. And out came bread. The one thing that was like just normal. Heck yes! Bread! So we started eating the bread. And about this time the waitress comes over and takes this utensil. Okay, like a, it was like a little, like a hockey stick. But a tiny one sweeps our breadcrumbs off the table. I felt so bad. I felt so horrible. I couldn't keep the crumbs from hitting the table. I pretty much felt like a big turd. What kind of a guy did I think I was? That I could just walk in and somehow maintain all the bread in my mouth? Ah, I was a mess. Just a big old messy slob. I couldn't even keep breadcrumbs from hitting the table. I'm just a creation of my own demise. I've always been used to letting, you know, the crumbs fall where they may. They're crumbs, you know, just let, the, let those go. Let the earth take those. And hoping one day that it grew into a nice pound cake or like a Cheeto or something like that, something good. And I looked around to see if anybody had the same problem as me and my date. Some guy was eating baby back ribs and the, the, the crumb queen didn't come over and sweep the bone Rib, rubble, ribs off the, his table. The crumb queen kept coming over to our table and sweeping the crumbs off our table. What was with our table? Was it this that bad? Well, am I just that bad of a human being that I can't keep the crumbs in this? I'm sorry, okay, but, but crumbs, they're inevitable. A, a crumb is gonna fall no matter what. 
I don't want you sweeping my crumbs. Okay, don't, just don't sweep my crumbs. My crumbs don't need to be sweeped. I will sweep the crumbs. If the crumbs need to be sweeped, I will sweep. I will sweep the crap out of the crumbs. I can't keep a crop from falling. If I had that power, I would, I would do something about it, but I just don't have the power. I'm not Captain Planet. If I was Captain Planet, I could take pollution down to zero. This is America, the land of the free, the brave, the people that let crumbs fall where the crap they want to go. And overall, the food was great. The food was delicious. It's just downright scrumptious. I guess the moral of this story is, uh, I'm just a crummy guy. I'm a, I'm a crummy guy. I'm a, I'm a crummy guy. I'm an idiot.